the uh, original WrestleMania theme from 1985 by Phil Collins. Maggot Morning, man. How was it yesterday and this weekend? Mm. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> How are y'all doing? <laughs> it only, there's only two individuals that I would get up for on four and a half hours of sleep, and Ty isn't one of them. It'd be Drew and Tom. <laughs> ah, smart man. Well... <laughs> Well, well, what was it like to be in a, we were talking about the final four this weekend. And if you were at the Superdome, we were talking about this during the break. I saw a picture from the upper deck of the Superdome. And I mean, the court looked, I mean, it looked like ants, it looked like ants, ants, children out there playing uh, basketball. How was it there uh, at, at Arlington trying to watch an event that would be actually in a smaller area than a basketball court? Well, from where we were sitting, we had end zone seats. So if you were there for like Razorback and Texas A&M games, we were sitting in the probably about where the end zone where the Razorback band would be sitting, and it was viewable. But it's everything looks good when you have the big giant Jerry Jumbotron sitting right above mm-hmm. you. But um, everything looked good from where we were sitting, fellas. And there was was it full? Not oh yeah, it was full. Yeah. About eighty thousand people, eighty thousand screaming. People ready to see Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Roman Reigns, yeah. you name it. It was all there. And it was, I mean, I know y'all make fun of me for being the wrestling fan, but it was an <laughs> incredible experience. I mean, it was two days of nonstop entertainment. Uh, Seventy, I think it was 78,000 yeah. Saturday night, and just a hair over 77,000 last night. So, I mean, well, part- it, was, it was something else. Pardon my ignorance here, but what, what would a ticket to WrestleMania cost? So my, uh, me and the lady, Lady SmackDown, for those that don't remember, and by the way, she has turned into a, quite a wrestling fan of herself. Well, did she have uh, a choice? I mean, let's be honest. Did she really have a choice? It was part well, of the, I took it's her part sh- of the, I took her shop. It's part of the prenup, <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, yeah, exactly. you can have all the money, but you got to be a wrestling fan here. Only thing you yeah, wanted was the belts. <laughs> I feel like I've made the deal, though, that since I took her to this, I have to take her now to a Taylor Swift concert whenever well. she goes back on tour. So Oof. I think that was part of the trade-off. But for both of us to go, her ticket was about two hundred bucks. So you got a, I got a two-night combo ticket. So basically, just say a hundred bucks to go Saturday night and a hundred bucks to go Sunday night. Man, but it was worth every penny, right? To me, it was. I mean, to me, it was. You got to see the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin had a match for the first time in 19 years. The Undertaker, 30 plus year career, finally inducted into the Hall of Fame, and you saw the bunch of the future stars of WWE. Uh, Roman Reigns. I know a couple weeks ago you had a fella call and talk about the Miz. The Miz was victorious this weekend. Uh, it, it was just a cool experience. You had the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders and. And it's WrestleMania. It's all the pomp and circumstance, just like what you see with the Super Bowl and everything that goes along with it. Fireworks and everything's bigger in Texas, fellas. And it was a it was an incredible time. And I'm glad I got to check this off the bucket list. That's for sure. I had some Morning Rush listeners that texted me last night, and they were hosting a, a watch thing, and I I couldn't make it just because I was exhausted. But I was like, man, this is a big deal. I just I don't know anything about it, but I know you were having a a great time down there, dude. What would is there something in particular, Matt, that you think was the best part of of this weekend overall? A certain celebrity you you just listed some. Anyone get a, anybody get hit over the head with a folding chair? Or anything good like well, that? So so the match. Uh, also, oh, Saturday night, it was all about Stone Cold Steve Austin, him coming back. But last night, we had a guy named Sammy Zayn versus, and I'm not sure if I can say the name of the television show over SBC Airwaves, but Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, Jack and that, Jack and that whole crew. <laughs> we'll yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, Jack Butt. We'll call it that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we had Johnny Knoxville versus Sammy Zayn in an Anything Goes match, and we had Wee Man made an appearance, Party Boy made an appearance. We had Giant lifestyles, mouse traps. That, that it was just, it was ridiculous on a whole nother level. So let, I know you're but, a little sleepy, you're a little tired. So let me get you uh, get. Let me get the blood pumping. Did any? I didn't watch the Grammys last night. Did any of the folks with WWE win a Grammy or anything for uh, for best screenwriting or any of the uh, the scripts that were written for <laughs> WrestleMania? No, but they sure should have. <laughs> <laughs> See, at least at least SmackDown's a realistic wrestling fan. He understands I mean, his fake. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I understand everything they were going. I mean, there ain't nothing that Phil Connick did last night during the Grammys that WWE couldn't have done. Yeah, I mean, did Will Smith come out and smack anybody? SmackDown did anything? No, but, no, but there was plenty of references to Will Smith. I can tell you that for sure. I bet they had uh, a, a uh, lot of fun with that. And even and even those for like that aren't like the biggest wrestling fans, and it just it. 
it's entertainment at its purest form, and that's that's all that you can ask when it's something like just this. A male, we were, it's a male soap opera, right? It's a male soap opera. It's kind of like how I described it to you guys. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's a uh, it was something else to see, and even for like you two that aren't necessarily the biggest wrestling fans. I mean, I know that y'all probably watched it a time or two, and Tommy back in the day for you as well. But hey, it's just it's entertainment. I mean, they had the lights, the smoke, the haze, the fireworks. It was just it was awesome. Excuse yeah. me. It was really, really, really cool to see. Yeah. Uh, and I think this will be the only time I could do it because next year it's at the new SoFi Stadium with the L.A. Rams and Chargers play. And I'm sure that will be a hefty ticket to come mm. pay for. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and it, when you got that wedding coming up, I don't think I have much money coming well, here anytime soon. Well, what's going on with SmackDown? I know you got a wedding on the horizon. Uh, you're teaching school now. Uh, you know, life has really improved since you left the morning rush. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I don't have to deal with Ty every morning. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm teasing. No, everything's doing good, fellas. Uh, getting married on October 8th. Uh, here, here in a few months or so. Uh, we have our teaching school. We're getting the school year wrapped up. How, just how many days of over. school are left? I know every teacher knows this number right now. How many days are left? <laughs> a little over 30. I can tell you, I know that much. I know our last day is May 27th. He ain't been teaching uh, long enough. See, a, Ty, a real teacher would know that down exactly. to the day and the hour. I've got 29 days well, and eight hours kids. left. Matt, Matt likes his Oh, I'm kids. here for the kids. I'm Matt. here for the kids. <laughs> give him a few more years. So. Yeah, give me a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll change that. But no, everything's going good, guys. Uh, just getting ready for this wedding and uh, getting the school year wrapped up and been, it's been fun so far. I had a good run again with the NCAA tournament and enjoyed that with the kids and everybody else. We had all the games popped up on our video boards here at BB High School, and it was it was it's been a cool it's been a cool last few part of these months watching all these watching the Razorbacks and everything. See, Ty Smackdown's hit the lottery because he's got him a he's got him a lady that loves wrestling, wrestling, uh-huh. wrestling. and George Strait. I mean, it, I mean. Uh-huh. I, there's probably only one in the world that does both, right? So yeah. I saw you on to George Strait, uh, or saw you on Facebook at George Strait. So I mean, does it does life get any better than that right there? Not at all. That was, <laughs> and everybody like the kids are asking me leading up to that concert. I was like, what are you doing for spring break, Jenkins? And by the way, they don't. It, Mr. Jenkins is out the window. It's always Jenkins, and then that select few understand where SmackDown came from. Mm-hmm. So they, they, like the Misters out the window, but. Uh, that several of the kids are coming to me and like, yeah, we're going to see George Strait this weekend. They're like, who? And so oh, I had to. They said yeah, who? That's, yeah. an F, that's an F minus for the whole semester. Yeah, right yeah, they, yeah they failed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But F minus. Uh, no, I know I texted you. I think I sent you a message beforehand. Like, and I, I, I don't remember, but uh, he's the goat for a reason. George Strait is. And that was, I mean, he started playing probably about nine o'clock, I guess. Justin Moore put on an incredible show too. Well, not give him any, or give, make sure you give him credit, but. He played from nine o'clock all the way to eleven thirty, picking that guitar and never even stopped. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, they, they don't make him any better than George Strait. Well, it sounds like you had a no. big weekend, and uh, you know, there's something else called the Final Four going on. But it sounds like WrestleMania held its own with it. Well, you know, I had I had all the faith in the world about North Carolina beating Duke because I mean, <laughs> it's just North Carolina. I mean, so yeah. I had no I had no reverence about that. So no way. Um, we had a great time down here, fellas, and I would recommend it to anybody. If you can, yeah. if you can attend one of these things, it's uh, it was something else. I know we sat, um, we didn't have anybody sitting next to us last night, uh, but the night before had three guys flying all the way from London, England, not oh, London, Arkansas, man. London, England, and I was getting called mate all week, all night. So it was, it was cool to see. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty funny. First, first mate, mate. yeah. Well, yeah. well, Matt, we appreciate you joining us this morning. I think a lot of our listeners are uh, encouraged and happy to hear your voice, happy to know you're doing well. And, uh, man, I know that wedding's fastly approaching, so make sure you keep preparing for it, all right? You got it, fellas. You got it, fellas. Hope y'all are doing well. And miss all you listeners out there. And Jay, I know JC sent us a tweet earlier, just like you could believe I was coming on. And shout out to him. I know Jason Carroll sent me a message. So I miss you guys. Hope all is well. And don't be strangers. Y'all call me anytime y'all want to. Well, get over our way and I'll buy you lunch. How about that? I, 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 can, be, I can do that. You know the <laughs> way to my heart, Tommy. <laughs> well, come see. It's good Thanks, to hear guys. from you, buddy. Yes, sir. Take care, y'all. Uh, one of the good guys right there, Matt Jenkins. Smackdown with us here uh, on the morning run. Finally rush. here. The top teams in college basketball have been determined and the final four is set. Looking to wager on these games or the national championship? Head over to betonline.ag on your desktop or your mobile device and sign up today to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BLEAV to get started. That's BL. 
EAV. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all your updated odds and info, along with player props and new contests throughout the year. It's the best source for all your sporting wagering needs, including live betting and everyone's favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started, so join today. Learn why everyone is saying Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on sports. Bet Online, where the game starts.